Hi, you guys. This is Ginger Cook here, and this uh, Monday, uh, Acrylic Painting Monday, and I want to welcome everybody for our uh, fun hour, hour and 30 minute, maybe, who knows, of this uh, fun new uh, painting we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how to take, uh, make an artistic composition out of our paint tubes. If you, and, you know, it's this kind of thing you could hang in your studio, just uh, fun things to do, and I think we're going to, I think you're going to really enjoy painting it. I'm going to show you some tricks about stuff that you may not know. And um, also, we want to welcome um, our mods who are here. They, if you were at our marathon, paintathon last Friday, our mods, a lot of our mods hung in there with us till the very end. Thanks to Stephanie and Judy and uh, Linda, I think, and you guys hung in there. Mona showed up for a while. We, everybody, I mean, we went ten and a half hours last Friday painting. Ten hours, boss. Huh? Ten hours. Ten hours. Well, it seemed like a, but it seemed like a long time to me. Started at three thirty in the afternoon, ended in the wee hours. So, anyhow, we're going to tell, show you a little bit. Uh, we've got another day left to bid on the auction from those paintings. We'll show you a little bit of those tonight. We've got a giveaway of the painting I'm doing tonight. We're going to be giving away. And someone had asked, does anybody outside the United States uh, ever win this? Yes, we've sent these. Original paintings of mine. I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. Sent them all over the world, but you've got to enter. Um, you know, got to enter to win it, and you've got to be part of the live broadcast. You've got to be watching us on the Monday that we give away the paintings. We don't. Once the once the broadcast is over, the winner's chosen. So if you're watching this in say a week later or next day or even a few hours later, you've missed your opportunity to enter. So you want to do that also. Uh, we have some Salvador paints that we want to share with you, and um, I'm going to show you those in a minute. Uh, the Salvador paint set we'll be giving away thanks to Salvador as well. They're going to be giving it away. And um, let's see what else that I want to say. Well, I think uh, you, you see uh, if John will put me back down to the table. You'll also see a little picture in the corner of John Little, my significant other. He's what makes this broadcast work. Uh, we have live chat, which is moderated to make sure that, uh, you know, trolls don't find this a fun place to come. And if you have a question, you have to put it in all caps, and that doesn't mean, necessarily mean we'll see it. We'll do our best, depend on the crowd. We'll try to answer questions. If John can answer it or one of the mods can answer it, then maybe they've answered it for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be me, but the question will we'll try to answer your questions. If you really care about a question, what I want you to do is email us ahead of time. Use the contact us as acrylic painting with gingercook.com. Use the contact us and ask your question. And we'll, we'll try to answer it on the show. So, um, anyhow, uh, as you can see, I've got some Sorrel transfer paper here. The question came up on our Facebook club, the Ginger Cook Acrylic a Painting Club on Facebook. Somebody, one of our members asked, How long does the transfer paper last? It depends on uh, you. Uh, well, how many I times use, you use it? Well, how many times you use it? There's a obviously, you know, uh, it's like a little bit of a wax that's going on there. So when you uh, kind of scribbled all over, like for instance, where this line is, it it can't do another yellow there because it's gone. So when you fill it up, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, but I've used mine a lot, and um, but okay, so you live somewhere, you can't get this stuff. So what do you do? You live there. You want to move. There. You you just no. You can take some. <laughs> Like for instance, here's here's the paper we printed out. That's going to be our. Uh, this is our this is our painting that we're going to be doing tonight. Okay, with the paint tubes. Isn't that fun? So this is our transfer. We're going to transfer this. Well, what you'd do is you would print out your your image. Doesn't matter if you sketched it or whatever. Um, it could be anything you sketched or maybe a photo you found, and you chalk the back of it, smear it out, maybe do it a couple times, and that will whack just like a carbon paper too. And sometimes if the paint's will thick that Sorel has trouble and the chalk back is the only thing that works. Chalking the back of your transfer of your, your image is the only thing that'll work really. So um, and I say use a soft chalk like a new pastel or something like that. So that's a little tip here. Um, We'll see who else. Well, yeah. So anyway, we've got that. We're going to talk about uh, fa some Father's Day um, uh, paintings. Paintings. I've got. I've, I've, we're going to be doing this on a six by eight canvas. I had some choices of backgrounds for this, and I've decided to do purple because I want yellow and purple are complements of each other. And let's see. Do I have have that? Let me just see. What the, sometimes I have 
easily accessible my color wheel I can show you but it's not where I'd find it so all right uh, complimentary color is if you have a color wheel which we used to have some around here somewhere <laughs> Um, is is the color that's opposite itself on the color wheel. Purple is opposite yellow, okay? So we're going to use the purple, dark purple background. I'll put these others away. Um, and I've got some Sorel transfer paper here. I'm going to use yellow because I've tested it. It shows up pretty well. Use the uh, brighter colors side down. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. Maybe I'll just turn it this way. It looks... Well, like that. All right, we're going to turn it this way. All right, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to uh, transfer this image on. Uh, now someone says, well, where do you get the, um, where do you get the images? Well, uh, uh, we have, the, they'll be up tomorrow, a, a pa acrylic painting with gingercook.com. And, um, and we offer the, all our uh, reference photos and stuff to our viewers who are basic supporters. In other words, uh, $4.95 a month um, and up, you, you have access to these um, to, um, pictures. But that doesn't give you just the one picture. That gives you everything back to 2020. So, you know, you can come and go if you want, join for a month or two and then come back. It's all right. But uh, it also kind of was a way of showing appreciation. We want to thank everybody that helped us so much uh, donating to us last um I decided to do this one so I can see it. Uh, last uh, a Friday, appreciate that very much. We appreciate the support for that. And uh, uh, some of those funds are going to replace some broken equipment that, uh, you know, that stuff apparently, un unbeknownst to me, once you buy a, p a camera or a, st a little mechanism, it doesn't last forever. I mean, I think it should. Um, I had a washing machine when I was a kid, man. It was like good for 20 years, you know. If you get two years out of this stuff, we're lucky. So anyway, um, so we appreciate that very much. And um, who, who's our moderators today I can shout out to? We have uh, Luann and Steffi and Judy. That's who I'm seeing right off the bat. I'm scrolling back up. And Lady Liz is present. Oh, she's back from her camping trip. Good, good. Well, not necessarily. She's at least on with us. She's on with us. Yeah, no, I think she's back from her camping trip. So okay. what what we're going to do here is uh, just um, draw the, the, the paint tubes on as I'm talking to you. And I'll say hi to you guys. Appreciate that very much. Um, and also, you know, some of you that I want to uh, thank very much, are the, a few of you, every video at the end of the video you take the Steffi does this uh, um, uh, there's a couple of you Mona Steffi um, uh, Janice um, Tent uh, there's a bunch of you that comment every video without fail you have something nice and reading your comments brings me such they're so kind and they bring a lot of joy and I want to thank you very much for taking the time to do that um, we really appreciate it, and I, I read them, and sometimes I get, sometimes I'm reading them, I don't always have time to comment back right then, I try to get back to you, we just, I've got to tell you how much I appreciate that you take the time to do that, it means a lot, I mean, it really does, it's a very nice thing to do, and, um, and I usually have a question or something, but sometimes you just tell me about how you feel about the show, or just in life in general, and, you know, appreciate it. And this has been um, the last, uh, say, 18 months. And here, here we're almost six months into this year. Isn't that amazing, John? It feels, like uh, it just, yeah. feels like January to me. It was like yesterday. I mean, it just feels like January, you know. Yesterday. And, um, da, 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 and you know, there's, there's hope around the corner. We're, we're seeing that now. And... So, I'm, you know, I'm very thankful about that. Well, someone asked how... I can how, almost see it. <laughs> yeah, isn't that interesting? I'll tell you what, John. I don't think the stuff in the... Um, in the... Um, 
The folding stuff now? The folding stuff is as good as the stuff in the... Well, of course, there's a lot right there, so maybe it just ran over. Just what I said it did. It ran over. Let's just tear that out of there because I don't want to move this. Let's try this on this corner and see if I can get that to... So the answer to your question, how long does it last? Well... About this long. <laughs> about this long, right? And even that's not doing it. That's just annoying. So... Do you have white in that group? Not in that group. There's another one sitting there. There's two of them. There's two of them sitting there. Not, not real impressed with them. Um, not real impressed. There's a brand thing of new thing of white. Let's see if that one works. Lorraine would like to tell you that Junior looks as fresh as a flower after paint a farm. And I look great too. And thank you. Oh, thank you very much, you guys. I'm and the interesting you what, thing is, I made her work right away. Right at the next day, we were up. Yeah, we went ahead and finished the uh, yellow rose of, uh, of cactus. Yellow rose of cactus. Wait till you see that one. That's a beaut. And because uh, we didn't, that was the only one we didn't finish. Yeah, see, this white's working. And I'm pushing really hard, hard, you guys. Yeah. I'm pushing really hard. I did not have to push anywhere near that hard for the stuff we bought in the rolls. You know, I wonder if there's a quality control issue here. I'm going to have to quit recommending stuff if they don't get their know, act together. Get their act together. Because, look, see, you can see that's working now, but that other sure didn't. And, um,. I mean, you really, I, I, you know, I know chalk works, though. It's a little messy. It does work. Yeah, see, that's a big difference here. I think this white and yellow I'm just going to throw away. Oh, it, look at that. Without even talking to the supervisor. We're just going to throw chunk it. I just it. see that. Look at that. Yeah, well, it just, it, it didn't work. So, you know, and that's a good, I should, I, that, that begs the question. Somebody probably bought that one to know how long it's supposed to work. I, it's supposed to work for a long time. Guess what? We have had some that's really, you, you look at it, you'd be surprised anything still works, it gives off. Well, Sorrel is usually very good. It's usually very good, so this is disappointing. But then again, we don't know how old that one was and where it's been and yeah, what I kind of know. life it's it had. Just, we, you know, we don't date them. We there really isn't. Them. Look, there isn't anybody out there that's making anything close to that. That's the problem. No, that's we, we tried with. some of the other knockoffs, and they yeah, just they're, they're don't even. Yeah, they're horrible. So yeah. you're sort of stuck with this, but uh, though the white work, right? You guys think so? Do you know the name of my game chair here? Somebody's asking what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's the, um, this is called the I-M-P-E-R-A-T-O-R, Imperator. It's from Imperator Works. And it is it it is marvelous. It is so great, and John just absolutely loves it. I just hate to go to bed. He absolutely loves it, and you know, it's um, it took three three people what we had to hire to get it up the stairs. It came in two sec what three sections? Two sections. Two sections, and um, took John. One section is four hundred pounds. But the customer service on that was just great. The um. The, Even on the it, Sunday, it, it was on a Sunday, and John and John, who's the mechanical wizard, was having some questions about some things about where's this or where's that, and the guy just immediately told, answered his phone and told us, walked yes, us Jackie, step by step it. through that. All right, so this is going back in the container, Sorel, and um, let's see, what did you ever bring me the set? Yeah, you did, right with the. No, you didn't bring me the set of what we were giving away, right? I certainly did. Well, where did you put it? It's not uh, this one. It should be right there with the other one. Did you look on the side? Are you going to make me come to the back of the car? Do you want me well, to pull look, over? There's two of these. Which one is it? The one that says high quality brushes. It's in your right hand. This one? I, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So this is the <laughs> set we're giving away with the brushes, okay? Yes. And the tubes are a little bit smaller. And the tubes are a little smaller. And you get the brushes has the brushes and the palette knife. It's Early a thicker end. box. It's a bigger box. So that's the one we're <laughs> giving away. All right. Okay. Oh my.
All right, well, I had to know. It's going to be a long day, folks. No, stop. Why would you say that? Honest to John, I can't believe you'd say that. Um, Please tell Ginger that Honey says hi. That's from oh. Linda Sue. Oh, hi, Honey. I'm going to... Um, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to come out here, you guys. I've got to bring this out. This got too short back up here. We didn't get this out far enough. Well, you can certainly do the last of that. No, but I mean it needs to be out further. They're, they're, they're too short. That these, these, This needs to be out further. The drawing is, you know, I almost have to just draw it in by hand. Oh, you well, had it slip too far back. It's too far back, right? Gotcha. All right, let's just gonna just do it again, right? We'll, we'll chat, and I can say that uh, we're gonna chat because that's absolutely worthless. I'm gonna move it down like that so that, that doesn't happen. All right, where'd that stupid white stuff go again? That stupid white stuff. Where'd <laughs> that go? How much of Salvador paint does Ginger use in a tutorial? A half a tube, a whole tube, like nothing, nothing, <laughs> absolutely nothing. It lasts. A we we got bit. forty during the quarantine. Quick, we got over forty pictures, paintings out of a out of a set. Oh, we did. We did. I was there. We did. We got like forty. All right, we're doing this again, you guys, because I just we're gonna do it with feeling this time. We're gonna, do, we're gonna change colored pens. Do you ever? This is why you, we're gonna do a green pen, so we know where we've been. Yeah, no, this stuff lasts for a long time. And um, here, let's. Just, As you can plainly see. <laughs> and let's let's just try this again. We'll just do it up here. We'll do it up here like this. That should be good, right? All right. So let's see. Here's my green pen. I just want to get it uh, positioned on here correctly. Well, it's going to make the whole thing. Yeah, it, if you get it up too high, it doesn't work, then the picture looks stupid. Is that um, working? Oh, gosh, friends, it's working. All right. So we'll do that really quick. Um, there we go. And uh, here we go, here we go, around and around. Uh, that's probably all I need. I just needed to make sure it was there. Let's see, did we get that now? No, no stay wet palette for a quickie. Yeah, we don't really need a stay wet palette for this. But all right, so finally we have it. Yes and yes. Yes. All right, it's done. Yay, woohoo, gosh. We've got our stay wet palette loaded up with a project we're currently working on. Yeah, we've got that. Yeah, we, we like the stay. We're, I'm doing a big portrait, and um, um, so we have the stay wet palette for that. Okay, so let's, uh, we've got all, we've got some of the Salvador paints out, and um, I'm going to take, oh, we, I'm going to use the titanium white from um, um, Golden. Okay, two, three, there's some of that. I always use a lot of white. And then, um, let's see, where else do I, I've got a rag here. All right, so what do we know for sure? Well, we know, you always ask yourself that. Do you ever ask yourself, what do I know for sure? I know that's white. That was white. And I know that this paint, paint tube is a sort of a light blue color here. All right, so I'm going to say that there's this paint tube here, which is a light blue. It's coming down here like this. Okay. And I'm just going to rough these in a little bit. Um, this paint tube is kind of blue, but I think I want this other blue. One thing about it, Salvador has some great blues, don't they? You, not that you can't mix them between um, uh, between um, using um, phthalo and ultramarine blue. You can mix about any of the other blues. Okay, but what we know for sure. We didn't quite get this one, but we, we have it here, so we'll just do it like this. And then we'll just paint this out. 
here like this. It comes down and around like that. There we go. All right, so we have that one, and let's do this. I just want to kind of block this in a little bit so that we're, we're fun. I thought this was, you know, very inspiring. I always like pictures of art supplies. Here's some red. Uh, Tim said it would be another great one for the uh, color mixing journal. You know what? Yeah, this would be really cute on your color mixing journal, wouldn't it? And um, um, absolutely, it absolutely would. And uh, let's kind of bring that around that way. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of th that red. <laughs> red needs like two or three coats. So you can only do so much with red. And then if you want that red to be brighter, see how bright it is in the photo? You almost have to paint it white. So let's let's take a little white here. Okay, you're going to love this comment because we were just talking about this. What? What? This is from Robbie. The top of Ginger Head looks a little bit like uh, Cousin It with the glasses. When you tipped over. It does. <laughs> I just looked at it and go, that's it. That's what it is. That's it. Well, somebody made the comment that they didn't they didn't like seeing the top of my head, right? So we're trying to figure out if I tip the camera down so you can see her face. Well, you can't really see her face because she's still looking down at a painting. But then when she looks back up at you, half her forehead's gone. So we're trying to decide, should we cut her head off or just not worry about it? I'll let the cousin it, though. I, I'm going to paint this white. Because the, the, that red won't be, I'll just make it a pink right now, because that red will not be bright enough over the purple. You will be very disappointed with that. That probably should be white. And I know that, and, you know, did it anyway. <laughs> so, there you go. You don't, you don't even listen to yourself, do you? I don't even listen to myself, right? So I know that. So the same thing here. If you want something to be white, it, you know, kind of a bright color, you got to... You know, it, it, nothing is brighter than if you paint it over white. How's that? Um, the same thing with this one here. Let's do that. There's the paint right there that's swirling around like that. Okay. So then I put a little black out because I want like a blue-gray color. So ultramarine blue and white, tiny bit of black makes like a, um, like 1% black, makes like a... Um, a silver color and we're gonna come up here like that kind of a gray and we're gonna go ahead and ooh stuffy had a cousin a stuffy a, a stuffy cousin it that would be cool did that's what she says she had a stuffy cousin it stuffy, fact, I, I stuffy had a stuffy cousin well you can't do say I, that fast do I do I feel some disparagement <laughs> happening here <laughs> no Is that too big a word for you cupcake well, stuffy, can you say stuffy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. All right, let me just bring my head back, right? And I'll bring it around here like this. There See, that's go. what we'd get if I tipped the camera down. Is that better? Now she looks so stiff, though. <laughs> what, this? Yeah. This yeah. It's all tensed, yeah. You're all tensed up. You certainly can't paint 10 hours that way. Okay, so we're just painting around here like this. We're just kind of blocking this in, right? It's kind of fun, right? Just blocking it in. And uh, that's what you got to start with. Yeah, we Laying do, don't we? Um, and uh, sometimes it helps to have like a little spot of water somewhere, like a drop or two. I don't put a lot of water in my paints. I always use it to kind of a dry brush. But, well, it's damp. It's only damp. But sometimes it can be helpful to do that, to put that in there. Because you gotta, you got to kind of lay this out here a little bit. Okay. This is there. This is a little bit wider here. This is going to be wider here. And this is kind of white down in here on this side now. Because this is technically a tube of white paint. We're just not seeing it. You make sure your, your brush strokes go around like... Sound effects are good, too. Get get those brush strokes going around um, in the correct direction. This one's a little bit squished, but uh, you want to make sure that you have that. And so we're, 
we're, we're just keeping adding a little bit of color here. Now, so what do we've got? Well, we've got, um, oh, let's see, yellow and blue make green. Everybody remembers that, yeah? Just don't have to preach to the choir here. Everybody knows that, right? Bright green color. And we've got a little bit of a green coming around the tube where it's been messed up by people. My tubes look a little bit like this, so this, this thing has my sympathy. And I'm going to take a little bit of purple, and I need something dark around here like that. And um, maybe something darker under here, too. Doesn't hurt to have some dark stuff. A little bit of purple and blue, maybe. And make this a little darker right in here. So we need a little more contrast, so we're going to do that. Because we're going to have fun with the, you know, with the rest of this, with all the smeary paint. But you kind of want to want this one. Let's get some other colors out here. Um, that's a nice color. I like that. Some of these greens. Why not use all your colors? I think what happens is, is that when you're painting... Um, it gets to this stage and hey, somehow you've lost it. That this will never get anywhere, right? And it really does. I mean, if you think about when you bake a cake and you put all the dough in it, uh, and, and you haven't baked it yet, you don't have a cake yet. And this is kind of like that stage, right? Nobody has some great dough batter. Yeah. And then, John, of course, batter. John's a dough eater, but then... Oh, can't be the good batter. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm going to put a little green back here. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I, I, might, I like cookie dough, but okay. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. So about the, um, uh, so just a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue, tiny bit of that black. There we go. I didn't get this one. Uh, it So that came up about the transfer paper, so... We have, we have found that the stuff in the rolls, which now is not a roll anymore, it's just sheets, right? It used to be a roll. Um, uh, it, it is a little bit more successful for us, hasn't it been, John? The roll, yes. The roll, it comes in like a, like a wax paper they do it in sheet. They do it in sheets now of like, what do you think they are? They must be about 20, 48 inches. They're probably 48 inches sheets. They give you like four or five sheets in there. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it goes beyond weird. It's weird, right? Because when I first pulled it out, when we first got them, they did that. And I go, wait, it's broken. Oh, I see what they're doing. Totally changed it on us. Yeah, well, it, it's... Look, I'm, I'm a big fan of people exploring, you know, <laughs> new things. But well, they should let us know. You know, but I mean, I... A quick I, moment would be in order. You know, I like the rolls where you could just cut off if you needed a piece that, you know, as long as the whole roll, you could have it, right? Okay, let's do this white again, see? Hey, Janice, Janice was me. I never get as many cookies as the recipe says. That's yeah, isn't true. that true? That's true. I don't They're, understand why that is. They lie. It's what they do. So it's why they that say you're going to get two dozen cookies. I get maybe a dozen if I'm lucky. Yeah, I know. They kind of lie, don't they? I think they do. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you eat the dough, so you're <laughs> just... That's, I you, think now, that, now, how can you say that? You eat the dough, John, so in all fairness... Let's get well, see, water. they should account for that in the recipe they give you. <laughs> in fact, did you know that they've got this ice cream you can buy? It's called cookie dough ice cream, and it's the chocolate chip cookie dough raw. And it's delicious. That's in the ice cream. And um, because we're very responsible, we don't buy it, but it's marvelous, right? Yes and yes. What's the red thing Ginger holds brushes in? I've looked in the kitchen department. Um, uh, we have this in our. Uh, yeah, if you go to did, Amazon, this works. There's they come in different sizes. This is called a. Um, a Hapsa. Hapa. 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 Asa. H A P. Well, there it is on the screen. Just type it down. Yeah. It's in our Amazon store. 
Yeah, that, that does keep them. I needed something. All the brushes were rolling off into my paint. It's very upsetting. Yes and yes. Yes and but yes. You know, who would want that? Nobody. Right? So um, nobody would want that. So now we're going to have a different group of camp here besides sock folders. Now we have dough batter eaters and non-dough batter eaters. There, 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 surely there are no non-dough. <laughs> There's not such a person, is there, that person doesn't eat cookie dough? I would imagine there are. Oh, I think that that can't be right, John. Everybody eats <laughs> cookie dough, right? I, in my book, yes. Everybody but, eats cookie dough. Oh my gosh, how could there be someone that doesn't eat cookie dough? I, I, it escapes me. I don't understand it. I don't see how it's even humanly possible. I have to say that John, now that I've tried that uh, Stay Wet palette, you miss it already. I miss it already. Now that you know, you know they say that um, once you, once you've been to Gay Paris, you can't go back to the farm. Is that how you heard that? Um, you know, honestly, no. Sorry, <laughs> you haven't heard that. <laughs> Everybody's heard that. Once you've been to Gay Paris, you can't go back to the farm. Something like that. This feels like a little bit about like going back to the farm here. See, there's Lorraine. She doesn't, but her husband does. Well, it's a good thing that they're not fighting over it, right? <laughs> well, we don't fight over it. No. Now, in our house, we had to call Dibby's. You called Growing Dibby's. up with Charlie, Charlie, Karen, and I, it was Dibby's. You did? Oh, yeah. And I got Dibby's off the bat before it was even made. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Because I knew what she was doing. I saw the ingredients coming out, and I just called Dibby's. I, I, I don't need to know any more than that. Is that right? Ray, no way. I hate cookie dough. Ray... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Kate's cookie dough. This has you you're not even human. You hate cookie Vegas dough. Vegas doesn't eat cookie dough. The texture is weird. Well apparently you don't know how to make good cookie dough. Well, do you think that's it? Debbie doesn't eat it either. See, we do have two camps again. We have two camps doesn't eat it either. Oh my gosh. Now, I wonder what kind of artists they are. Ooh. Now, if you're, if you're a sock folder and eat cookie dough, are you different than a sock folder that doesn't eat cookie dough? Well, I bet your paintings are cleaner because you're not full of cookie dough <laughs> smears, right? What do you I think? bet you're right. You know, just just a thought. Maybe an obser candid observation. What do you think, right? I think, it might, you know, I think more studies will have to be done. Okay. You wouldn't think there's this many colors on these silly paint tubes, but there's a lot of color on these paint tubes. I Have you ever looked at your paint tubes? Yeah, but I'm just saying because they're metal and they reflect the light, there's stuff that's going on here. And um, it's interesting. You've got to almost build, you got to really kind of build this up a bit. And um, Well, hello, Romania. It's 2.05 a.m. So how is our tomorrow looking? Yeah. What's life like tomorrow? Yeah. I, I have a friend in, um, is she in Romania? I have to know somebody in Romania. Um, it'll come back to me. Some, some friend, huh? I can't remember her name. <laughs> no, she's not in Romania. I no. apologize. She's in Bulgaria. I yeah, got confused. That's what I thought you were thinking of. I, thinking I, of Edie, unless she moved. Bul no, she, she's in She'd, um, Sock folders that eat cookie dough live on the edge. Oh, yeah. There you go. Is that like a saying now? Yeah. Ooh, new T-shirt. So, oh, my gosh. That's a good T-shirt. We, we need some new T-shirts. All right. So, all right. So, just, I could keep playing with those, but it doesn't hurt to let the paint dry on them, right? Well, maybe it does. I don't know. Depends so, on what you're trying uh, to go for. As I keep for. moving back and forth, okay. I just want to put a little bit of purple in the in our um, purple and black. I think that makes a good um, that makes good chrome. Let's do this. Thought I could put that yellow there, but I'm going to have to put it later. Just. Um, well, we know it's darker right here. Everybody knows that, right? You can see it's darker right there. Looks like a shadow nose. Like a little shadow right to, right next to this one. There's this shadow. Okay. And there's some colors. You want you don't want to 
don't want to uh, miss out on having a few colors in this too. Okay. We need to have 300 thumbs up, folks, if you want to have the link to the to the uh, giveaway for tonight. Yeah, that would be good. Yep. Trying to so put don't be bashful. Yeah, putting the shadows in here, particularly on this one. Yeah, so we need that link link for that. Remember, our auction is running through Wednesday around 6 p.m., 6 to 8 p.m. Central Time. They end at different times, so you want to make sure your auction piece is, check your time, that's ending date time. But they will be ending on Wednesday evening. Yes and yes. And we'll be showing us some of those a little bit later in the show, so stick around. Yeah, we're going to be showing that. All right, We've got so the we've got first coat of varnish on them. they got at least one or two more to go. And they're, I might say, they are looking pretty darn spiffy. Have you ever heard of spiffy? I have heard of spiffy. Pretty darn spiffy, though. Pretty darn spiffy, right? Pretty darn spiffy. Um, notice I took a little orange and these three yellows to make this marigold color. It's this orange, this color, and yellow. Orange this color and yellow. Yeah, this this one to make this marigold color. And you want you got to say that there's some. This is what they call reflected light when it's over. When you have light that's on it from, the, like for instance, you have a metal vase and there's a some pink roses next to it, the um, maybe on a different vase, the some of the pink will reflect on the, um, on the roses. You know, they have to. Okay, here's a little bit of this red color that comes in here. We just, just what we do this, so. Um, uh, ooh, there's a little bit of red under here too. Let's just put some of that red color right there. Let's start putting color in our um, on our paper. You know, on our paper too. So as we're cleaning our brush, we're going to start putting color places. And the reason we chose purple was because um, if we um, have any of it showing through, the, the, the dark color will show through. We wanted this to be on a dark color. So this is coming around like that. You're you're looking at this one, so the collar's coming around right at you like a clock. It's going from about four o'clock to then around to twelve and back down to about um, seven in a circle like that. Is there is a wave in water right coming up? Yes. Is there what? A wave in water coming up. Yeah, that. Um, uh, We're doing the uh, the river. That, that we mentioned, yeah, that gets released right away. Yeah, that was supposed to be released. It would be good done. We'll do it. To, we'll do it for tomorrow. Yeah, the, look. Yeah, look for a new wave and water for tomorrow. Yeah. That that auction thing or the marathon just kind of threw me off. We well, apologize. It took a little. It took a little bit out of us to pull that off, and you know we got a little tired, and that happens, right? How does Ginger like the Stay Wet palette? Ginger likes it better now. Now Ginger's <laughs> becoming a fan. She's less liking this. I guess I could miss something. Because um, cause I like that. Natalie would like to know, how did you like the canvas board, board you all used in the marathon, and how are they taking the varnish? 
uh, beautiful. In fact, in fact, let me just stop a minute for a second. Yeah, pause. This, 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 this is going to pause it. Pause. Let me just show you. Look at some of the auction pieces, you guys. And they've been varnished one coat. Here's our um, beach scene. And you see how beautiful that is. And uh, it's, uh, that's been varnished. Here's our um, our uh, lunch in the Greek Isles, and you can see that you're not getting a glare on that, are you, John? Uh, no. Okay. No, we're looking good. Hold on a second. I got to change my. Slide them down a little bit. Yeah. Little yeah, bit. you know, I just don't want you to get a glare on it. So you can see how beautiful these were. These were so nice to paint on. They're really nice. These are the uh, Pro Tone um, All Media paint panels, um, six by eight by Creative Mark. They're made by Jerry's, and they're, they're it's it's actual um, masonite that's got an isolation coat, and then it's got the canvas, and then it's got three coats of primer on it. And this is if you hadn't seen this one yet, this is our volcano, um, and uh, really reminds me of. Um, well, where? Not Ecuador. Um, There's a place we went. Guatemala? Guatemala. And um, I want to take a minute and show you this one because uh, this, if you have, I have put it, this is actually filmed as a tutorial. It's going to be for all, uh, all colored, all of our members that are basic supporter and up will have this video available to them to paint. And that will be on the website. Yeah, there's a little over an hour to do that one. A little over an hour. So we give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on this one. And uh, that's the yellow rose of cactus, which I particularly like. And then we've got the um, the lighthouse. Um, and I'm, I'll show you a few more later. Um, I'll just put these up there. We'll, we'll do a few more later, but that's just some of them. We've yeah, the, got... pro, the Proton boards come in up to 16 by 20. They have, uh, I think, 8x10, 11x14, 9x12, 12x16. We have some more on order because they're on sale right now. Hate to pass yeah, up they're good nice. Sale. I have to tell you guys, they're really nice. There's a little bit of a dark shadow here on this one. And um, over here on this one, kind of a dark shadow. And right here, it's a dark shadow. I've got the little tiny brush out. And uh, well, okay, Lily has a question. With all the Salvador paintings Ginger has done, how have the brushes survived? Well, we don't use Salvador brushes if we're talking about them, and we're using the ruby satin silver. We use, yeah, we don't use the Salvador brushes. We use the ruby satin silver brushes. The Salvador brushes are a little soft for the Ginger's. The, what my style of painting is work painting. well. Yeah. I do. I do like the pointy ones. Yeah, she does use the pointy ones now and then. Yeah, I do like the pointy ones, but um, for the most part, we just don't. We don't want it. We just don't use those. Now you see, we're building up the colors on this, and. Uh, You notice that most of our tutorials are based off of the six by eight proportion of the, and so we had to do six by eight, nine by twelve, twelve by sixteen, eighteen by twenty-four. Unless our subject dictates it going into the eight by ten format, which is eight by ten, eleven by fourteen, sixteen by twenty. Yeah. So most of the time we're on the uh, six eight ratio. John, will there ever be a six-month membership? No. No, because I mean we're get, you know we practically are giving away the farm at this time. You know, if you do, and we do month by month. include you in the first of the year, they will be going up. Yeah, the prices will go up, and but the nice thing about it is, is that if you're already in the academy and you don't drop out, you're grandfathered into these prices. Yeah, we have people are still paying the original 2016 prices. Yeah. It was like fifteen dollars a month. We have people still paying those because we just, you know, they never dropped out. 
so they got to keep the um, see how the red is so much happier if you, it's going over something light yes we do squares if the subject dictates it the panels aren't available in squares Yeah, squares we do 20, 20, 18, 18, 12, 12, 10, 10. I like painting on canvas. I mostly stretch canvas. And I, if you're going to be painting on um, a large canvas, you probably, unless it's something with a lot of detail, I wouldn't recommend a board. I just wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, uh, you, you really don't want the... Um, uh, you want, uh, and particularly those of you that are selling stuff, right? If you're selling your artwork, I always take a percentage. If I sell anything, but some percentage, whatever we sell, always goes back into more art supplies. And you should consider doing that too, if you haven't. Okay? You want to have that um, to go back into that because, um, uh, And if if you're selling your artwork and you and you have the budget for it, I would say buy linen canvas. Oh, definitely. And the reason being is if you're sitting there, um, you know, and you're you're a group of people that um, are selling their artwork, right? And you can say acrylic on linen sounds so much classier. And acrylic on canvas and acrylic on so it's just a matter of um, you know sometimes it's public perception it's not even a true thing but it's public perception and sometimes that makes a difference so you know those would be some some minor suggestions I have about you know selling on um, I see Eileen has a comment I used the Pantone panels in the past but the tooth is rougher than I like if you prep them properly, they're smoother than Ginger wanted them. Yeah, John, I can get them very, very smooth because that's what I want. Because I, am trying to perfect that for when I start painting more than I am to fine detail. So you can get them very smooth. I did a little demo of that during the during the uh, marathon. I think you showed people how you were. Um, so you were starting to build up the colors now. And um, it's looking good. You know, it's just it's just not fast, but it's um. You know, you got to kind of build them up a little bit. Can you gesso masonite? Yes, but you have to prep it first with a block that golden cells. You have to prime it so it doesn't bleed through with whatever they put in it. Go to Golden's website and look and ask that question. And you'll find the answer for that. They have a. Uh, an isolating layer you need to do first. Tech Bear, can I join the Wave and Water for only one month? Yes, use the contact us and, I'll, and we'll look at your membership to see the best way to do it. Usually it's just a donation if you just want to do it for a month. Make the donation of what it, what it is. What is the difference between canvas and linen? Well, it's um, linen is a fabric and canvas is a fabric. If you think of um, boat sails, they're made out of canvas, and sometimes then it depends on the thread count and how thick it is. So, just like for instance, when you're buying sheets at say Walmart, and then you're buying Egyptian cotton, there's a you talk about the weave, and so um, linen is a very very smooth, um, uh, very very smooth. Um, uh, weave and it's and it's actually a different it's a different fabric it's not cotton um, Elizabeth let's see when we download a painting or for our downloadable does it download all parts at once or do we have to download parts one at a time one at a time and the reason it's that way is a lot of people that do the downloads do not have a good internet connection and they certainly can't have more than one feed coming down at a time. No. 
I lean, I'm not sure if it's GAC 100 for that isolation layer. They have one specifically for the wood. I know it's one of the GACs, but I just don't remember which one. And I think Holly asked a question, are the Salvador kits good for travel with? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's what that, we like That is for. our go-to travel kit. Yes and yes on that. And they last a long time. I mean, people are shocked, but they last, they last a long time. Michelle, has Ginger ever painted on aluminum panels? And if so, did she like them? I have a video of how I painted on aluminum canvas. It's an abstract, and I think it's in the Academy. Yep. It's an abstract, and, and no, I didn't like them. No. It's just too weird. And then, Jen, you get a fingerprint or smudge on it. Yeah, it's just... You can't it's clean just, it. That, I, no. paint, they're paint of varnish. And, yeah, it is. Boo hiss, boo hiss. <laughs> yeah, we like we shot those down real quick. Okay. What is the age for the senior discount? 60. Plus, I'm a little confused on the different color memberships. Oh, no need to be confused. It's, there's a thing about the, at the there's right the on the full description. Page. And the, the one that gives you the most for your bang for your buck is the red level. It gives you over 400 lessons, and it gives you the personal art coaching. Personal art coaching starts with the red, blue, and purple. And if you don't know what personal art coaching is, Ginger will tell you a little bit more. Ginger? I'd sure. love to do that. Isn't that fun? That sounds Pers like a real infomercial. Yeah, it does. Personal <laughs> art coaching is where you take one of the tutorials or maybe something that you found on your own, and you, um, after you've painted it a little bit, or maybe you haven't painted it that much at all, you, you can then take a photo of it and send it through our ticket system. You send it to me and say, "What's the? Do I have the vase shape right?" Or, you know, maybe you have a question about what um, you're you're concerned about. What's what? Maybe you feel something doesn't quite look right, and um, so then um, I will then uh, write you back. Maybe it's just a few paragraphs of what you need to know. Maybe I shoot a video on my computer and explain step by step what you have to do. Um, I will say this though, to get the most out of personal art coaching, to get the most out of it, it's a two-way street. In other words, if I s tell you what to do and you never send it back to me to see if you did it, then I don't know what you learned from that or not. Because even, because a lot of times I'll, I'll take the one painting and work on it three or four art coachings. If I, if I feel you're trying, I'll try too. Some people... It's been my experience with have um, have uh, you know they they'll maybe send me something in for personal art coaching, but um, I never see it again. So I don't know the progress. I don't know if they've made any progress with that or not. You know, they this is what she said, but they they never do that much. They never do enough with it. And and the reason you want to is because. Um, that's how you learn. And the artists that you guys admire the most that are our, our Academy members on Facebook, the ones that you guys admire the most that have the nicest things to say about, chances are they've either sent that painting in for or that painting in for personal art coaching or they've done enough personal art coaching where they really have a handle on what they're doing. But they still send them in. Okay? Which is so interesting to me because... Um, a lot of people, um, uh, you know, don't, and then they, then they, and, and, and I, and I, if, then I don't want people to say, well, I didn't learn anything, she didn't teach me anything, actually I did, but you got to at least kind of try to do it, and the thing is, is if you see, like, for instance, like, if you see a box of cookie lessons on our academy, we have beginner and back to basic lessons and things that you have to be able to know how to do before you can do the box of cookies. All right? So you may see a, a painting tutorial that we're releasing, but the, to learn to paint that, you need the, um, you need to have the, um, uh, the, the tools in your in your in your you've got to have the tools to do it i'm not talking about paint tools i'm talking about painting skills and we teach you these skills step by step by step back to basics this is the kind of thing you need to know how to paint you want to know how to paint something like this you need to know these things so um 
we recommend that you watch the the videos that are uh, maybe more challenging, you know, it, but not paint them until you uh, you have mastered uh, some some of the um, um, skills that you need, like blending, dry brushing, color mixing, um, all that stuff. You know, it's important. There's a lot of language to it. There's, it you know, it's a language, and so I, I likened it to wanting to write a no novel before you learn how to spell the words. And um, and then we're not being fun, you're not being facetious about this. It is, it is like learning a language, absolutely. And um, and it's learnable, absolutely doable. And I've we watched it time and time again, and I. And I've watched it. The people that send their artwork in for personal art, art coaching, and then follow up with the with the changes, and send it back in. And send it back. And sometimes I may have to tell you that I don't think your skill level is up for this painting yet. You're not ready. Put it in your wish list, and try these other tutorials. Master those before you tie this, because you may like something, but um, you're just not ready for it. You're just not ready to paint it yet. And, uh, and I think, as a student, I would rather have a teacher tell me that than saying, oh, you're doing a wonderful job and keep going. Yeah, just and I still mean, doing it I wrong. could do that. I could take about five minutes and say, look, great, <laughs> fix that one thing, and you'd still have a crummy painting, and I won't do it. And um, I won't do it. I, I can't bring myself to do it. I would love to do it, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Um the pack form is still on the old website. We are working on a new one for the new website. Yeah, you still use the yeah, old... Yeah, you still have to use the old website, gingercooklive.gallery, to send your packs in. Yep. Still have to do that. And we apologize for the inconvenience, but it was well worth it. Yeah, you just use the old website. Someone says, as soon as I figure out how to do the new website, to send in a pack. You don't do... We're still using the old website... And, um, yeah, we, you know, it, it, we have four, 400 plus lessons still to get on the new website. So you're, we're still using those. Let's see, let's see. We're going for the end of summer. Kind of tapping this on here to show the thicker paint. And if you do sign up on the new website and you are a new person, you have to let me know so we can give you create an account for you on the old website if you're a red, blue, or purple member. I usually catch them, but not always. Okay. So that's good. Those are all good things to know. Yes and yes? I think so. Something a little bit dark right next to that yellow. Make that yellow stand out here. And then I think I want something dark right there. Okay, there we go. Get that yellow coming out. And I uh, want it more of an orange right there. See, we just, uh, we haven't even come, come to this part yet, but we're building up the colors. Do you see how the colors all kind of build up? And, uh, for instance, if I put a little red and blue together, this little burgundy color here, I want a little bit of a shadow right here, and maybe right there, where this is coming out. So we keep building up the paint, and that's, I think people, you know, you got to think about that. So anyway, what I encourage everybody to do is take, the, take advantage of the, you know, um, and if you don't want to send it back, that's okay. I mean, you know, I can't make you send it back to me. That's fine. It's your dime. It's just, but if you want to improve and get to those lessons, um, it, you'll learn more if you do that. Um, and, um, and uh, you know, I really, really find it important that, that, um, that uh, you know, that we have this uh, opportunity to share this this knowledge with people it's important to me 
put, just put a little of this red under here. I want something pretty. Uh, Carly says, on the new website, is what is the best way to search by cookies? Well, right now, most of them up there are one and two cookies, except for the newer lessons. So we don't have anything divided up yet. Um, if you put in the search engine two dash cookies, you'll find the two cookies, I think. But we don't have enough up there yet to start making the categories. We, we're still building the cart before we can hook up the horsey. See, I wish I could just snap my finger and they all be there. And so does Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> John's son and him have been working on it. But you can always find the, you know, you can go to the uh, the old website, which is, you know. Because the, the old, old website has everything. Has in, everything out, the complete library. Yeah, list, all library the new ones listing. are still being put on the old one as well. So you can always search over there. I wouldn't switch over yet until, you know, if, you're, if you're a red member, I wouldn't switch over yet until. Well, them. you got to give switch over if you want to do the you YouTube. Can, you, do the, you can do the, I guess you have to what, to get to the new ones? Yeah, it's, to get to the YouTube. No, the new ones are. We're posting them both on both sites right now. Yeah, so you can. That see will come to an end though, one of these days, because it's it's a lot of work to do that. Okay, see, I've made it a little bit darker on that side. So as we get, as we keep pulling this, um, you see, I'm keep pulling the colors up here. PJ says I didn't send it back because I didn't want to bother you. Well, bother me. Bother. I want to see it, PJ. The only way that Ginger knows that she's being successful in explaining something to you is, here, this is what I did, and you can just say, I'm, I'm done. And Ginger would just say, done. This is what I did and post it on, you know, and, you know, post it on Pinterest or don't or whatever, but. Um, it just, you know, just kind of reaffirms what she's trying to teach you guys, this, that you did understand it. Yeah, so send it back and say, this is my, and use the same ticket. Don't open up a new ticket. Yeah, use just the reopen ticket. the old ticket that it came originally under. Yeah, just use the same ticket. And, um, you know, my brush was dirty there, and uh, that didn't help. We're looking for nine more thumbs so we can get the uh, link going. Somebody wants to win this. I know they do. Jody says, thanks, John, and your son for doing the new website. You're the best. Thank you. Okay, so I've got enough. You can see where we're building up the paint tubes enough where we can um, uh, still get them. The new oh, website is acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com. I joined today, Camp uh, Terry. Use the contact us, and I will take care of you after the show. We'll figure it out. Everything's fixable. Sal says the same thing. I don't send packs back because I don't want to bother you. You're not bothering me. No, and we I need, know we, we need the feedback. That, you can send it back. and, I, and, and you know, If you've done a great job, I want to put them on Pinterest for you. And you haven't wanna, quite gotten there. She wants to give you one more tip. You know, just one more tip. And even if I, I might recommend, look, if this is, if this is a challenge, try these other videos. Um, because you'll get the most out of it. And that's, that's all I care about. So I just want you to get the most out of what you're painting, right? And Holly says, I never thought about sending it back after I made the changes. I will do it now. I learned something tonight. Yeah. But your night, your day hasn't been wasted. Yeah. And, um, yeah, your day hasn't been wasted. You're so funny, John. But, yeah, but it's true. I mean, you got to, um, we, you, we want to, uh, we want to see that. And, um, also, if you send me it in for pack before you show everybody on Facebook what you've painted, you might get a shout out. But uh, if you've already showed everybody what you've painted, then there's no point for me giving you a shout out. Arizona um, would like to know, John, I'm doing Cinnamon's Big Art Quest. Can I send it in for a pack? Nope. We do not. We do not do packs on YouTube artists. 
even family members. <laughs> Particularly family members. <laughs> you, you have to admit, mommy and daughter do not paint anywhere alike. They're not even the same it, it, styles. No. So no. And I don't want to get where um, into a place where I, I would be criticizing something cinnamon painted. No. Or even appear to, because I mean we, we we have a deal with that. We don't. We you can share what you painted on. Um, in our Facebook. On our Facebook page, and we're happy to see it. Um, here's some CAD red light. Eric, we'd like to thank you for the donation that came in through Super Chat. Chat daily art joke. I decided to take up a new art form called long exposures. The best part is you don't even need a camera. <laughs> oh, you must stay up at night, Eric, to come up with these. Thank you very much for the donations. Appreciate. This is CAD Red Medium out of the tube. And, and um, we're doing that because a little it's very bright. bright. You can see that. This, this is fun, isn't it? I guess I'll put a little bit of that out and let you see the difference. It's just a little bit brighter. Um, all right, so I'm almost ready to put all this smeary stuff in. Let me just let that sit for a minute, and I'll um, show you a couple more pictures from the auction. Um, here's our hummingbird. Ooh, I love the hummingbird. Uh I really love the background in this one with the, the orange flowers. We did this as a YouTube tutorial with brighter ones last year. But I like this one up with the... Um, and then this toucan, the toucan, look at the colors in him now that he's been varnished. That's Tommy. the one thing people don't appreciate. When you varnish, you pop the colors back out again. And that's Liquitex regular varnish. Brush on varnish, it will get one more coat. Here's our water lilies. And we've always had, people have always loved the birds. So here's another bird um, that's in, in the auction. Again, the auction will close tomorrow evening. Uh, so, I'm going to go until Wednesday. Sorry, Wednesday evening. Sorry, Wednesday. <laughs> that's right. This is Monday. <laughs> so you still have time to get, oh, register and bid. Here's our, um, I love this path with the purple flowers. And uh, one of the other favorites is this um, cactus. Got a couple more left to show you, but uh, we'll do that for the next little break. And uh, I, I love, I do like painting on the board. You know, one thing about it, it was you really saw the difference. Um, I could see the difference on on this for sure. And um, we're gonna do some palette knife work here a little bit. This is one of my new Posca pens. Or an older Bosca pen. It's not new, but you still have to shake them, and you kind of pump them a little bit, and you shake them. Do you guys know that whenever you shake any kind of paint pen, I don't care what the brand, keep the cap on. If you shake it, <laughs> you could that paint can go sailing across the room, and it is not something you ever want to experience. See, you can see I'm still shaking this, right? So you can see how we're getting the the colors out, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do this once more. Here we go. Are you going to come out or not? Maybe, well, we'll try you. I want some tiny little white lines. The threads. Here. The threads are... They've got a couple of them have a few little highlights on them. John, there's no notice saying I was outbid or anything more. Ooh, I would think it would tell you you've been outbid. Missy, that's new to me. Has anybody getting, been outbid and not get a notice? I don't know. I'd have to go put a fake thing in there and go outbid myself. Let me see. It used to. Let's see. Where would it be? No notice for outbid. Huh, that's weird. Well, we appreciate you telling us this stuff. 
Because, you know, you think this is all technology. You know, like last night at um, right about midnight, the um, uh, Internet just went down. For no reason that I could tell, to tell you why. It just went no, down. No, right, right at midnight, whole Internet goes down. It did not tell me either. Huh. I'm looking to see if I have any choices. Enable an alert box for a confirmation when user places a bid. I can do that. I don't see where it's, where it's going to tell you you've been outbid. So see, we've got a few little highlights on this now. Yes and yes. So um, sometimes you get a little bit more control with the pen than you would otherwise. So for that reason, I might do that, just to do that with the pen. Now I'm going to take my palette knife, and I'm going to get out a little bit of a tiny bit of uh, modeling paste. Like that, okay? It's pretty thick, yes. Let's do it a couple places. All right. Now, what I want to do is mix some colors with it. Well, the recommended story lessons on the new site, it popped up at first, but I lost it. Uh, if you do a search for back to basics, you should find some of them. That's probably a list I need to try to build. Good point. If you send me a, um, a, a user contact us, I'll get that together. I'll put it into a list. Uh, Lily would like to also mention, uh, make sure your mustard bottles are also closed before you shake them. I believe she's talking from experience as well. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the truth? All right, let me move this up here so I can get to this. Now, just take a little bit of color in the modeling the paste. The whole section of activity of what you have bid on is gone. See how I'm doing this all hmm. flat? Now, let's take a little bit of the... You don't want it all thick. That's why you have some of the purple sticking through it. Now let's try some of this, some green with that. Now the trick is when you're doing this, don't mix the colors. Have a variety of colors on your brush. Well, Holly, I think we've answered your question. Can you mix this paint with some gel medium? Yes, you can mix it with gel medium, anything. It's a, it's a pure acrylic. It's a, it's a wonderful acrylic. It's just, um, you know, maybe something you hadn't heard of before, but it's it's wonderful. And just pop this over here real quick you for you. You barely want to, this is the trick, you barely want to touch this. And that's our auction website. Well, I don't see a way for you guys being notified. I want a little more of this color and some more modeling paste. Maybe I can use that. 
Yeah, I'm just going to grab a pile of this. So I like that color in there. Barely touching this. Okay, see, see all the paint left on my palette knife, right? And then let's take some of this red. And we're going to barely touch it, just like... And you gotta be kind of good. Don't mix it that much. It's one of those that kind of plop and go. There, you just you're just it's you're just setting this on top of that. Otherwise, you got to dry between layers. If you, you you'll have a hot mess if you don't. Then you'll if you don't dry between the layers. You gotta at least skin it over. Now this is gonna take some time to actually dry before I can varnish it, so this will not be going out this week. No. So everyone who wins this, you have to give me another week. It's gotta dry at least a week as thick as that is. You can see where it just pretty much used up all my paint, right? Well you sure are having fun. Look at that. And um, let's see, let's get a paper towel. And um, yeah, I still want, you know, that I'm pretty happy with all this in here, right? But I'm going to take a little glob of the white paint, come up here again, right? Because remember, you. Just keep adding a little bit to that, but this is, this is kind of fun, isn't it? Guys, I mean, you just have to be so careful. I just I love stuff like this because it's about what we do. I think I might have found something. You think so? I what think have you so. found? The possible way to turn it on. Uh, John, ask Ginger, please, does she ever keep painting on a picture and wish she had stopped? Well, yeah, sometimes, <laughs> but then I can always uh, dry it and go back. You know what I mean? The thing I don't like is a lot of times when I'm doing a background or something, I get a beautiful stroke in there, and I go, oh. But it's, it's bumpy, and I know that she can't have a bumpiness, but it just looks gorgeous, and I just go, oh, well. I got to enjoy it for a moment, and then out it goes. Let's see how we've got this. Emails. Um, now let's take some of this. Let's see, i got to put a little more of this paint up. I mean, I think we just, I mean, you look at this, I think we kind of, got, we've got a neat thing here, don't we? And uh, here's a little bit of the paint here. I'm going to put a little bit, kind of tap it around here like that. Kind of make it a little thicker. Um... 
Now, could you come back afterwards, after this, and, um, you know, put on a little bit more paint when it's dry? Yeah, you could if you wanted to. Like, for instance, I just even just used my brush there. But, boy, you've got to touch this like it's a sunburned kid and they're screaming. You want to do that. See? There you go. So that's, um, I would say that that's, uh, a fairly good representation of uh, what we were trying to do here. What do you think, John? Uh, this would be nice as a larger painting. Oh, it would be. It would be a lot easier to do, too, right? And we would encourage you to do it larger but uh, and use the modeling paste because you can go up to 50% modeling paste with color because when you start putting it on thick, it, you, as you can see, it uses a lot of paint, yes and yes. And um, so that's something that you might want to consider doing. But, um, uh, have you ever painted over varnish? You as can, long yeah. as you have the right varnish. If it's Liquitex, you can keep painting on it. Yep. In fact, I'll tell you a secret you didn't know. Another secret? Didn't. Yeah. If, suppose there's a certain part of your painting, like a face or a hand or something. You know, for the life of you, you the paint is, the fabric is so bumpy, you're not getting that hand, Right. It is just not working for you, right? And what you can do is you can take some varnish and varnish that spot, maybe a matte medium and varnish like matte medium, and uh, dry that, do it a couple coats, and that will fill in all those little ripples in the in the weave, and then you can do you can do the detail. You don't have to do the whole painting. Well, the website says it's supposed to be sending out if you've been outbid. So I'm going to have to look at the mail server, I guess. Could you know, though? Could I use heavy gloss gel for this? It's the only medium I have. Yeah, heavy gloss gel would work, too. I didn't do it because it... Uh, takes too uh, long to dry. It takes too long to dry, but heavy gloss gel would actually be nicer in a way because it would be shinier. So, yeah, I probably would... Heavy gloss gel would be a great thing to use. See, just small things, you know, like this. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, I'll, I will sign it probably up here on this one of these paint tubes on the side, right here, when I sign it. When it's dry. When it's dry. Week. Hopefully when it's dry, yeah. So I'll sign it when it's dry. But, um... What a, what a great fun uh, picture, yes? And if you're wondering, what, that was just called modeling paste. And, you know, it comes in smaller jars. It comes in jars, I think, like this. And honestly, you don't, you, um, you, big jars, are, you're not doing big paintings. You probably don't need a big jar. The other thing this is really good for is if you have, like, a canvas board, um, you know, maybe cardboard canvas board, and you want to cover it with that. If you put a coat of this on and let it dry, just smear it on, like, say, butter on toast and smooth it out, Oh, it gives a very nice painting surface to paint with, right? So that's um, uh, that's something else that you may not know. That is kind of nice, right? And let's see, let's do a little bit of this. Red is one of those colors that uh, um, that that a couple coats is is more impressive than just one. Oh, definitely. It, on it red. Just, it, I don't know what it is about red that needs more than one coat of paint, but it just does. It just is um, very persnickety. Persnickety? Yeah, it's another one of those big words, John. I, you know, I need a dictionary for you people. I know, you do. Well, it looks like some, some people are starting to get notices. I think. Are some people are getting notices and others are not getting notices? Are we well, you gotta nicer look. to some people I think others, they're or? coming out from the tech bear. Look for a tech bear service at Gmail. I run it through that one so it goes through my email link thingy. Okay. That's what's good information.
There you go, you guys. All right, so has everybody entered? If you haven't, you got to win it. you got to enter it to win it. So while you're looking at that, let me show you what we're going to be releasing the Academy. Oh, yeah, could you do that? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, hello. Can you say, hey, camera guy, could you back up a little back bit? Back up, camera guy. You, you might, before you lay that down or even hold it over that painting, could you move the painting? Yeah. I know. I'm being okay. a sock folder, but get so over it. So here, here is our Father's Day, which will be released this week. Hopefully um, very, very soon. Just, you know, and also, um, there's this is going to be available as a downloadable lesson, too. Yes and yes? Yes. And... Um, yeah, so you don't have to be a member. You don't have to be a member for that. We'll have it, and we'll have a downloadable special on this for you guys. So if you want to own it, it's a downloadable. Right? If you've got somebody in your family that, um, you know, enjoys a glass of whiskey and a cigar, and you got, you know, they, this might be a very fun painting. One of our viewers is going to put this in her husband's man cave, surprise him for Father's Day with this. And um, while I'm showing you that, inside. let me just show you the last of the two auction pieces I wasn't able to show you yet. Here's our door, and we use the gel, you know, the gel on that, and you see the texture of the three dimension on the relief on the door. That is so cool. And we did that, and then here's our bumblebee. Oh, which is, that's uh, my poo beer this one. one of John's favorite is the bumblebee. The soft, uh, uh, again, uh, purple and yellow are complements. You've got the soft background with the uh, lavender and the bumblebee. I'm gonna have to try to paint that one myself. And um, and then our, we realized that everybody is fond of whiskey and cigars, and we wanted to make sure you have to really back out for this. We wanted to make sure we had that. So we've got this one that'll come up the following week in the academy. Um, and this is um, our uh, father and uh, child. It could be, if you change the color of the hat, it could be a boy or girl, depending. Uh, it's called Kayaking with Dad. And um, you can see where you've got this really neat white water and everything. And even, and this is going to be both for the Wave and Water and um, VLL for uh, Father's Day also. So I'll give you a couple of those, all right? So we think that was kind of fun. That was a good one. Fun so, indeed, fun indeed. So the um, now we'll bring this back down. Hey, we'd like to thank Megan for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. And we would also like to thank Douglas. Oh, thank An you An oasis very much. in a world of insanity. Thank you for... Bringing my blood pressure down after a day of fighting a builder destroy the shoreline on my river. I love coming here. Cheers, uh, cheers from your loving painting archaeologist. Oh, he's the one up in Canada. Eh? Oh, that's so fun. That's that's that would be. We fun. are going to get to Canada again. Do we wanna, I love Canada. Yeah, we want to. I love it. I love that you're an archaeologist. That that's something I would have been. I was an artist. I might have been an archaeologist or treasure hunter anyway. <laughs> love, love finding stuff, right? And even old dinosaur bones. I don't care what we're looking for. What are we going to hunt, right? Just something. Something Let's find cool. Something. Let's find something. I think that would be great. You know, yes and yes. I think I want a little bit of a shadow right here. So thank you. 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 We're going to put a little bit of a shadow on this side right so here. So if anybody gets outbid, let me know if you're getting the outbid one. If you get it after the show. Yeah. Just drop me a note if you would come across this. Okay. So that... that okay, I'm going to see how many people we got on trade for this lovely painting. Yeah, we got some folks, right? We got a lot of folks. A lot of people want this one. Well, I just like this because, you know, you hang this in your studio and it's a little bit about who you are and what you do, right? And I think... Uh, I mean, I love stuff like this. I just think it would be cute. Maybe we'll put this on a coffee cup, too. This would be a fun coffee cup one. Don't you guys think so? Just to have the picture on a coffee cup? Uh-huh. Yes and yes? You don't think so? You think so? Oh, I do. I do. You think so? I do. And you're right. If it was bigger, you could do a little bit of a... Palette is there a way to see all the VLL paintings? Uh, if you go over to the old website, they're in separate categories, but yeah. 
Well, and that's, yeah. GingerCookLive.gallery. You'll be able to eventually see them on the new one, but. Yeah, they're in categories under one, two, three cookie, box of cookies. Absolutely. And then, of course, if you go up to our Pinterest, Ginger Cook Live on Pinterest, and look under uh, uh, categories by topic, you'll see not only the DLL, but all the YouTube ones, too, and the links to them. Because we've got some absolutely some beautiful paintings, and uh, I'm very, very happy with that. So, all right, so we've got this and the... Oh, and the the, Salvador our giveaway, kit. the Salvador. Well, this was best in a silver frame, probably, but we're not going to pick that up and play with it. Uh, this I, is so I do wet. Not, I do I, not want I'm that near to my touch frame. It, right? um, <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll show it to you dry next Monday because we won't mail it out till next week. So we'll show yeah. you this dry next Monday so you can kind of see it and I'll have the signature on it too so you can see it. So it'll be all done. It'll be complete, you know. Um, we'll scrolling, show you scrolling, 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 scrolling. 229. All right. Random.org. Random.org. 229. 229. And that one and that one. Ooh. Both ends of the spectrum again. Gotta love that. So, where are they going? Well, one moment, my queenness. I've got to scroll, scroll, scroll. Sometimes you have to go over your highlights. They don't always um, show up. The painting is going to go to Canada. Oh my gosh, where's it going? It is going to Ontario. Ontario? Yeah. Ontario? Oh, how she did that. I couldn't see it all. Yes, Ontario. Well, that's... Uh, right. Rockland. Rockland, Ontario. Wow. All right. So, congratulations. Like I said, that is going to be delayed at least a week. At least. So, let this dry. It, yeah, it's got to dry week. before I can even touch it. Yeah. So, but, but we'll show it to you next week. I'll dry and finish and everything. Winner you know, as far of as that goes. the... Paint tube painting, paint tube painting is Judith Samard. Simard? Yeah, Samard. I'd say, or Samard. Yeah. Uh, how do you spell it? Judith? S I M A R D. Samard, yeah. That's Judith what I said. Smart. Well, I think you said smart, but okay. No, I didn't say smart. Okay. So she may be smart, though. Congratulations if you're getting the, this painting. This is fun, right? You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Just uh, this would be a good t-shirt too, I think. Nice. Painting tubes. So paint tubes, absolutely. Paint tubes. All right. And the winner of the Salvador paint kit. Winner of the Salvador paint kit. Kit, 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 kit. With brush, with brushes is... Uh, Patricia Lowe. Oh, congratulations, Patricia. So you've got that. So this is nice. You've got the 12, you know, she you've hails got the 12 in Virginia. brushes, the 24 tubes of paint, and a little palette knife and, uh, and palette tray. So congratulations on that. We thank Salvador Paints for generously doing that for our viewers. And uh, But I think a lot of people have discovered these because we've done it. It's just something fun to use. I still You still see me use our premium um, uh, heavy-duty golden paints for stuff, but... Uh, um, I, I've done a year and a half of these, and um, they're marvelous and great colors. And you can see that we've we've had very good success with that. So, um, thanks everybody for watching. The question I have for you, and you don't answer it here, but the question I have for you is that for, you could leave in the comments is we talked about personal art coaching. What is it that you're having the most trouble with? When you're painting something, what gives you the most, ah, I don't even want to start this, this looks hard kind of thing. When you look at it, what, what are you having the most trouble with? And I'd uh, love to know that. And um, uh, again, we want to thank our moderators for hanging in there with us. Thank um, you, moderators, for hanging in there with us. Love we, you guys. We just torment them. 
And, uh, you know, and uh, love you guys, too. And uh, hi to Honey again and to Linda Sue, our family out there in uh, Pennsylvania. And so tell everybody to stay safe and hope Honey gets her shot soon. And um, uh, hi to Spider and Luna if they're passing by the TV. So <laughs> remember, uh, Cinnamon, my daughter, the archer, has now going on Saturdays and um, Sundays on YouTube. So uh, be sure to catch her, and we'll, we'll see you guys next week. We like to do uh, one more thank you to Jacqueline for the donation that came in PayPal. Thank you very much, Jacqueline. We appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.